the Spexel's research initiative really is a trial, if you want to say so, a collection of different partners from industry and research uh, gathering together to understand the meaning of swarms, really, in our future for our society. Where does the Spexel's research initiative come from? We've started the Spexel's in 2012. Um, this video went viral that time. It's a lot of drones in the sky, equipped with light, forming um, graphics and visualization in the canvas of the sky. Um, that, that's been um, like already five years ago. And meanwhile, we have developed uh, this understanding a bit better on swarms in general. And we've a next product um, shown this year for the first time at the Ars Electronica Gala. It's the drone screens. The drone screens that we are running now with the same uh, swarm operating system. So our swarm operating system really allows to adapt to several different vehicles not limited to Spaxels anymore. We have also started to confront ourselves with a multiple set of vehicles, of autonomous vehicles, uh, directly, meaning in the shared space to interact with a swarm rather than single drones. And that is where the idea for the Spexels Research Initiative comes from. It's totally different to interact with this swarm or the understanding of this swarm of being coordinated, permanently connected, single autonomous vehicles and they would react and interact with a person or with the society in a totally different layer. Furthermore, we were asking ourselves, as we also utilize floor robots, we were asking ourselves, what if swarms in the future would really meet our society? How would that feel? What would the drones know about us, what need to know about us in order to interact with ourselves. So the key question really was, what when swarms meet the society? And not what if swarms meet the society. I think we can predict that swarms in many different facilities will play a role for our society in the future. So this is what the Spexels Research Initiative really is about. It's trying to jump ahead of the perspectives that we have right now, trying to understand the paradigms of interaction with, between humans and swarms. Shortly, swarms at the Spexels Research Initiative are uh, groups of coordinated semi-autonomous vehicles. So it's not that this is all about swarm behavior or swarm intelligence. It's not about the swarm um, as an interconnected environment. It could be a fleet of vehicles controlled from a central, central point as well. What we are interested in is less the single vehicle, is less the single agent in the swarm appearance. It's more about the actual integration with the swarm. So now when we talk about a group of semi-autonomous vehicles, very often we refer to this as being a group of identical vehicles, which I really don't think we are limited to a group of identical vehicles. Our future will coordinate a mass of different types of vehicles in the same um, coordination group, if you want to say so, in this same environment. So swarms per se are not identical agents. They could be agents of any kind. 
which at the end leads us to the understanding of the swarm of a multicellular robotic organism rather than a group of individual vehicles. What we are interacting with in the future is actually a organism out of single agents with their different functionalities. Much like a body would be, like our body has eyes to see, sensors to think and feel, and that could be all distributed among different agents in one organism in one, organism in one uh, organic form. But what if we interconnect all those mobile things? We will end up with something like the Internet of Mobile Things. And if so, what do we do if our environment is more intelligent as we self are, at least more interconnected? These are the questions that are interesting us concerning the meaning of swarms for our society. And the partners of the research initiative are uh, partners of the Ars Electronica Future Lab that we have been working with in the, in the recent year. Uh, with NTD, you have seen uh, the demo booth out there just like at 1 o'clock. And at 4 o'clock, there is the next session going on uh, where we focus on the work that we uh, do with NTD on the topic of swarms. With Audi, we have been very active in the recent uh, months to foster the understanding of the growing digitalization in the car and what's the impact of that digitalization for the different uh, employees at Audi, for the different partners who work with Audi, but also for the society um, running with Audi. Autodesk, another partner um, where we will show our Swarm design and Swarm operating system tool um, integrated in Autodesk products at the Autodesk University um, in October. The Johannes Kepler University is probably the oldest collaboration partner of the RS Electronica Future Lab, and I'm very happy to have um, Sepp Hochreiter with us in this session from the Institute of Bioinformatics, and he will give us an insight on artificial intelligence, you know, dedicated to a distributed swarm operation. Hiroshi Ishii, the MIT Media Lab, uh, thank you very much for participating as well. It's a very, very long. You've seen his opening. It was uh, 2001 when we still had the old building. Um, well, it was the first exhibition on the tangible bits. So there's a long um, collaboration going on with the MIT Media Lab, and I'm very happy that um, you'll share uh, your thoughts about the swarms of the future with us here as well. What's very important, though, is even though the autonomous vehicles and all the technologies for it are, need to be developed on the first hand, so we need to look at them in a sense. But if we only focus on a single sand corn, we would never understand the meaning of a beach. And this is, in a, in a way, what we try to express with the swarms. We don't want to play around with the single vehicles. We really want to see what's the meaning for our society of swarms. <laughs> 